My name is Shaquille Khan. I'm an investor and chief advisor to CEO of Spotify, Mr. Daniel Ek. I'm also an investor in about 12 other technology companies based in UK, Silicon Valley, and China. My life started off as an entrepreneur. That's all I've ever done from the age of about 10. I've never really had a corporate job. And it was not by choice, it was as victim of circumstance. I had no education, I left school. So over the years, I've built a number of companies, sold my last one to AOL, and realized I still needed the adrenaline of startups. So rather than starting to build my own companies again, I felt I could probably add far more value to other young entrepreneurs by investing, advising, and mentoring them. So it's interesting, a lot of people talk about product and technology. I think they're all very relevant, but most product and technologies aren't that much different from each other. Ultimately, for me, it's backing that individual. And you know, they have similar traits. Everyone has a certain fire in their stomach. There's a certain amount of insecurity. There's a certain amount of arrogance but combined with confidence rather than just arrogance and negativity alone. And I try and look for those hidden signs because I've been through that and I can see that they're the ones because it's in their interest and they've been dreaming about building or proving to the world that they're not a failure. So I tend to go for these people. Other investors have got different strategies. Success is never overnight success. The media, it's, a, it's their job to dramatize things and they need to you know, get readers to read headline grabbing articles. I have yet to meet an entrepreneur out of thousands who I've met who overnight said, oh well it just happened overnight. It's been thousands and thousands of hours of practicing, finessing, thinking, practicing again, reading, just learning. So, you know, overnight success is never overnight, so that's one thing. But two, we live in a world where we only hear of one. So we hear of the Google. We don't hear of the 10,000 others who tried it and came so close. Now, they weren't failures. It just happened it was a market which is only going to be one winner. And a lot of people seem to think it's a one-zero game. It isn't the case. There are amazing companies which never, nobody's ever heard of, but they're still successful. So if you believe in something, you just have to carry on until you can not take it any further. So... You know, the right amount of emotion is very important because you have to be emotionally invested rather than financially or time invested. But what's really important, what I found is being able to, along the journey, change your opinion. And, you know, I as a youngster at 16, I always try to explain it. At 16, I knew everything. At 18, I definitely knew everything. At 21, I knew enough that I could teach other people. At 25... I realized maybe I didn't know much. And at 30, I realized I knew very little. That's the opposite. So when you're a kid, 14 or 16 or 18, you actually believe genuinely that you know everything and there's no harm in that. But as you go through life, you realize that the best ones are the ones who accept they know very little and are willing to learn. I am still learning stuff today. And today's uh, event has been amazing and I've met some people and I learned new stuff from a 17 year old kid. and. I can either embrace it or I can look at it and go, well, what can he teach me, in my opinion, embracing it because he knows more about the topic than I do.